back in Smash 4 that is Donkey Kong at ledge. How are you going to get off? And Beach has so many, or Daisy in this case, I guess, has so many ledge trapping tools just to keep you there. Of course, you know, we don't even have to talk about the turnips. I mean, any float aerials that she's going to be able to get out and pressure you with, it's going to be absolutely absurd. But, of course, Razo is going to have to get the DK to the ledge in the first place if that's going to happen. And, boy, just give him the armor. Yeah, one thing that Donkey Kong does have is really, really good burst options. One of the better dash attacks in the entire game here, off stage here. And of course, he has like a very, very good anti-air up tilt, intangible arms on that up tilt, and really, really quick back air as well. His air to air is actually like really, really good. And mm -hmm. Peach is a character that you want to stay in the air for a really long time. That's where her strongest pressure game is coming out from float. So we'll see if YMCA can abuse some of his uh, really strong anti-air tools and his strong air to air as Donkey Kong again. I mean, of course, you, you mentioned the intangibility, and especially that scares me on an up air because if that kind of juggle situation gets up, there's really not a whole lot a feature Daisy can do to get down on that up air because they're so slow in the air. Oh, oh man. <laughs> there's the turn ups. A lot more stronger in this game, do quite a bit of damage. Oh, gets the parry, but oh, and here's the combo star. This is what you need. You need those down tilts to start it all. Are you. Wow, he almost died. Ew, okay. he finished it off. Okay, he died. <laughs> Let's go, Razo, dude. Zero to death coming out from Razo, and it all started off with a magical down tilt. And that was and that was coast to coast, dude. We may be Wednesday night fights in Orange County, but he took him all the way to New York City after that. Oh, yeah, for sure. From left to right, man. Razo giving him a whole tour of Pokemon Stadium, too. What a beautiful stage. And, man, Razo working on this three-star. Uh, yeah, dude, it's looking like it. And you know what? That zero to death that we were that we were talking about all started with that turn up that you were talking about, how powerful of a move it is in the this game it kind of almost sets up nearly not quite but nearly like banana for Diddy Kong it is just such a strong move that puts you in just the right angle and Raza knows how to use every stitch of it on intended oh wow what a string coming out from YMCA though 62 percent here on Razo oh man if you could hold on to that momentum but Razo able to stabilize get back on the stage and these turnips oh. are doing so much damage and it's, it's really big for YMCA there to have held on to his jump to be able to get back after that that spinning Kong to get to the stage. But at 185, he's living on borrowed time, even despite the fact that he is heavy. Because, boy, if Daisy doesn't have a lot of tools, this should be it. No, he had the turn up in hand. Okay. 231% here on YMCA. Finally gets an opening, but the trade not in his favor at that percent. No trade will do there, and Bowser going to go up one over his YMCA. Yeah, that's one of those unfortunate times where you are at such a high percent that you have to back off of that aggression game that's normally so good for you. DK can actually break that peach zone because of how big his hitboxes is. Or hitboxes are, rather. That's terrible grammar. But, you know, anyways, that's one of the things that he has in that matchup is being able to approach this character. But once you're at that percent, you have to let off the gas and let them come to you because whiffs or trades in general just aren't going to be in your favor. Yeah, exactly. Go! Looks like we're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. No switch to Wario here. Just going to stick with the comfort pick. I definitely feel like YMCA knew what he did wrong. Um, I mean, the zero to death was unfortunate, but there was a couple resets, a couple windows where he could have done some other Ooh. stuff, but here comes that aerial pressure coming out from Razo. Yeah, no, Razo, that was a really nice mix-up where oftentimes you'll see Peaches go for that downer on shield and then immediately drop and try to grab after the pressure, but instead he just takes it right back to the skies and puts some more on the shield, but it wasn't on the shield, he actually just got the hits. Ooh, there's an air, no back air, maybe a hold, some weird hold buffer there for Razo. That might have done it, but nonetheless, YMCA holding on to this dog 140% on this Donkey Kong craft right out of the giant front. That would have been some way to get yourself in stage position, but keep them coming, dude. <laughs> yep. Keep all your veggies, and right now, he just got like triple turn up all the way <gasps> off the stage and trying to get another combo started. But look at this shield pressure, man. YMCA trying so desperately to play out a shield, but it can be so hard. Uh, Peach definitely one of those characters that can pressure shield really, really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the fact that she can do those float aerials and follow up with another one just as quickly as anybody can guess. Oh, here comes that new ding dong that everybody's been talking about. You know, it may not be as easy as it was in Smash 4, but so long as you got the platform, you can still execute. Yeah, and Pokemon Stadium 2 is the best stage for that. Uh, pretty low ceiling, and you got two platforms to work with, of course. So YMCA definitely going to abuse that. Evening up the stocks here, holding on to this rage, trying to get some kind of something started here, but Razo always being able to beat YMCA out in neutral. Yeah, I mean, Peach has, again, like, you know, a lot of tools to stuff out of Donkey Kong. You know, even if he's going to approach, she's got really good defense to back herself away into a corner and punish on whip because DK can suffer from that heavy end lag kind of, you know, qualm. Yep. Oh, here's Ooh, the big here. commit. 
Okay, not gonna go for the ding dong, just gonna get a ledge situation. Probably had a little bit too much rage. There's the back here, a little control coming out from YMC. Another ledge trap here goes for the down smash, not gonna connect though. Oh, that's a re-grab situation, but the Parasol covers him. YMCA is only going to get a baby punish. Not a punish enough to kill with the <laughs> giant punch, though. Maybe Razo expecting a defensive option, but YMCA with the RPS there. Well, and even then, if you're going to expect an offensive option, you're not going to expect it to reach that far, but it goes. And look at that. He almost got another hit right there, and Razo was respecting the giant punch that time. Yeah, maybe a little desperation up he coming out from YMCA. He was regrabbing the ledge, maybe going for some kind of mix-up, but Razo not falling for it, just staying back and getting that solid punish. And now the stocks are even here. The forward air going to rack up a good 63% here on YMCA. And that whole sequence just started because YMCA buffered an up B, a spinning Kong that he wanted up in the air to try to bust out of any aerial combo that Razo had going. But once again, trying to get too aggressive on this pizza, these high percents could be bad for him. Will the ding dong work? No, too much rage. Yeah, he had, yeah, too much rage there. Man, if he just had a little bit less rage. Wow, but he gets the roll read. YMCA clutching that game number two out. And that's something that Rosso hadn't been showing him too much of, but at those high percents when you're at the ledge, you want to get back on stage as quickly as possible. And a lot of people default to that roll because it's the easiest button to buffer once you grab the ledge. Yeah. So really good stuff there from YMCA. Sealing it out on the ledge trap, getting that ridiculously hard read honestly and I mean that's one thing about heavies is your your neutral compared to like some of the other top tiers aren't isn't the greatest so sometimes you got to go for those hard reads and YMCA going to cash out there and we're going to bring this to a game number three I am very curious to what counter pick we're going to see here from Razo I mean I would assume that he he has a very tough dilemma to to pick between because if he goes to a smaller stage He's got to deal with the fact that DK gets more bang for his buck on covering stage just by throwing out one move. Like, one back here is going to cover a quarter of Smashville. Right. And so, you know, if he goes to a big stage, then he's got to deal with the fact that he is slow. DK is pretty fast. So if he just wants to play it safe and try to execute that game plan that he had in game one, I mean, both of those games were pretty close. And if, if we're honest, you know, YMCA kind of picked that up with a very high-risk, high-reward maneuver there at the end. So if we go back to Pokemon Stadium 2, this could go either way, and I honestly respect the pick. And I like that YMCA, um, at least that, oh, man, that showed <laughs> low. But I like that YMCA started that game being a little bit more aggressive. Like, I just feel like playing out of shield, or just Donkey Kong in general, if you can use your hitbox as well, then you should go for it because Donkey Kong has really big hitboxes and you want to be able, oh, beautiful carry, are you dead? Air dodge out, dude, the timing is barely off. Oh, oh yeah. For another read. Oh, here on the ledge, and we saw Turnips being such a great tool with the down air through the platform, the foot into the head. Dude, that is a that is a classic stomp combo. I feel like a lot of characters in this game have a stomp combo. You're gonna get stomped with that hand, though. Yeah, right there, the forward air with the drop zone as well. Razo making sure uh, YMCA not going to get too carried away. And, man, already 76% the forward air not going to connect with the forward smash does. You talking about getting carried away, man. That is Daisy's name of the game. And that nerf to that sideways movement in the air for that spinning Kong is what is going to net Razo another zero to death. Yeah, those turnips off stage are such, such a horror for so many characters to deal with. And it's so low risk because you know Peach doesn't really throw herself out there. She doesn't really risk herself being in a reversal situation. Oh, once again, just getting up with that nine line this time. Miles has got to deal with having some percent on him. He's got to respect that DK can just toss out moves that'll kill him. That back there, if it's well spaced near the ledge, will certainly do it. I'll try to get the read there, but I'm gonna get slashed up by the grab and the giant punch coming through once again, evening the stock count, but the percentage not looking good for YMCA. No, I mean he's gotta he's gotta get to that get to that mode of mind where he's gotta stop being comfortable with trades. He's really gotta get that one opening and get his juggle started because both of these characters will combo each other to forever. But it's on YMCA to get that win in neutral, which again as a heavy can be tough. Yeah, he's gotta rack up his damage, but Razo is not making it easy right now. So they're trying to space with these back airs, but Razo coming straight in with that dash attack. Yeah, it was a great time to use that burst move, and he hadn't been doing it a whole lot. He caught YMCA retreating right there. YMCA going to have to be very careful with how he gets the ledge right there, and Razo wasn't set up to cover it. But now he gets a forward throw for one more edge guard, and this could be the ledge trap that wins in the game. Yeah, right there. Tried to shield grab the space, drift away back air, and Razo going to punish that. Shield grab with the float. Cancel back air, closing it out. 
with the Daisy 2-1 on YMCA. And, I mean, it was looking pretty close. YMCA had a bunch of percent on him. You know, a solid, a couple more neutral exchanges with a solid read. Definitely could have done it for him. But, nonetheless, Razo just playing it really, really safe.